Well, hey there everyone, this is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm thrilled to be hopping with Altenew today for their October release for stamps, dies, and stencils. And for today's video, I'm going to focus on these two new stamp sets. They both have coordinating dies. This first one that I'll be showing is the Grateful Heart stamp set. As you can see, there are layering stamps, but it's got this really gorgeous outline stamp along with uh, a couple other outline stamps one being a separate flower and two being the leaves. I'm going to open up this pamphlet here because I always do. I absolutely love these Altenew pamphlets. They give a lot of inspiration, not just for cards that you can make yourself, but also for colors and ink inspiration. Um, but today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I really love outline stamps because I love to be able to have the option to color, but there are a lot of people that don't really love to color at all. And I wanted to show you how you can create really beautiful cards and designs with outline stamps without having to color them in. So the first thing I'm going to do is some embossing and I'm going to be using this blue cardstock and all of the product information is in the description and also Altenew's embossing ink. Now I'm taking the outline stamp and stamping it in this embossing ink and just stamping randomly around my cardstock. It's really nice when you use colored cardstock with embossing ink because you can make out where you're stamping. When you use white cardstock, it's a little difficult, but colored cardstock makes it a little easier. So I'm using some Altenew crisp white embossing powder, and I'm just going to spoon this with my tiny little tasting spoon all over my card front. And then I'm going to take my heat gun and make sure that I set this all. And as you can see, I just get this really beautiful white contrast against this blue background. I went ahead and added this hello sentiment to the bottom right hand corner over a piece of vellum and called it a day. This was a really simple card to make and it was absolutely uh, just simple and fun and it turned out really beautifully and I love being able to create quick and easy and beautiful cards. The second set that I'll be using for the video is called Precious Peony, and I think that this is my favorite stamp set from the newest release. Inside the pamphlet, it's got lots of inspiration on ways to use this specific stamp set without needing to color in the outline images. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for it, and I'm using this half wreath stamp, and I'm using my Misty to position it so that it's coming just off of the bottom right hand corner of my cardstock. I'm using the colors Autumn Blaze, Rubelite, and Fresh Lemon inks, and I'm going to be inking this one stamp up in these three different colors. Now these colors go really well together, but also if they overlap, they won't mud and turn brown. And I'm making sure that I have some overlap there so that you can really see the differentiation and the different colors. I think that this is a really smart way to do a one layer card. And as you can see here, I added the sentiment, um, your creativity amazes me with the fancy greeting stamp set. And I did this in a really dark, bold black color, obviously just to uh, bring out a little bit of the dark with the many colors that we have there going on in the stamp. And I just think this is a really smart way to do a one layer card. Finally, I have an idea of what to do for an accent piece on a card using an outline stamp without needing to color it in. So I'm using another small bouquet outline stamp set from the Precious Peony stamp set, and I'm going to be using a piece of vellum. I'm going to prep this as I have before with my powder tool, and you can see that my preferred method is just to dump the powder on there and to brush it around. You absolutely do not have to do this, but my brush is a little bit messed up, so this is just my preferred way of doing this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that it is flush to the corner and then I'm going to ink up this Precious Peony stamp with the Altenew embossing ink. What I'm doing here is just making sure that I have a nice surface that I can stamp onto and what the powder does is make sure that none of the 
uh, embossing powder will stick to anywhere else on the card front or the surface that you're stamping on um, unless it has that embossing ink on it. Embossing ink is very sticky and clear, so it's a very easy way to emboss and I would say the best way to use embossing powder, um, but the embossing powder does tend to like to stick and it's pretty staticky to the rest of the cardstock and especially on vellum. So I prefer to use uh, this powder tool with mine and I'm just going to be using um, some gold, uh, Altenew gold embossing powder to emboss this image. After I have covered the image with embossing powder, I'm going to take my heat tool to it to make sure that it sets. And you'll see that I'm actually bringing the heat in from the bottom of the vellum. Normally when we heat emboss things, we come from the top so that it melts, but vellum I have found does a lot less warping when you're using a heat tool if you come from the bottom side and you give it quite a bit of room. It works just as well at uh, setting the embossing powder, but it definitely warps the vellum a lot less when you come in from the bottom. So after I've used the coordinating dies, this is what it comes out to look like. It's beautiful and delicate, and it can be used on any card front to bring a lot of interest and beauty into your card. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. As always, links to all of the products are in the description, as well as the link to my blog, which is part of the blog hop. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.